Why do I make these videos? I haven't been able to give a clear answer in a while now and I think that's the reason I've been pretty demotivated. What am I gonna do with this YouTube channel? I have things to do today, so I hope that idea just comes to mind throughout the day. I mean, the weather in Ireland isn't normally beautiful, but it is particularly bad recently. There's floods happening everywhere in Ireland. I drove through a part of the road that was flooded so badly that it pulled like a giant bit of plastic off the bottom of my car, so I have to go out and fix that now. But before I do that, I'm going to do a short video message for a club in Cork where their gym has just completely flooded and they currently don't have a place to train, so I'm just going to show some support for them. I'm sure this is a very difficult time for you all, but it is so inspirational to see all of you gymnasts competing at the national championships. Ah, uh, I think I found a dead hedgehog. Oh no. That's probably the work of some local cats. I'm thinking it might just be really badly injured because they be hibernating, right? So it's maybe just still sleeping. I'm gonna pick it up, move it into the bushes. I'm pretty sure it's dead. Right, I should uh, really get the training now. But first stop, coffee. Yeah. How are things eating? You going to the gym today? Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, brilliant. Alrighty. <laughs> Thank you. Haptic in Newton Arts. Best coffee in Newton Arts for sure. And honestly, the staff in there and the people in there are just lovely. Put a smile on my face for the rest of the day. Days like this makes me very grateful to have an indoor sport. Just doing individual tumbles on floor today. So I'll show you the best ones, the top five. I'm trying to get like two routines per week done. I got a good successful one done on Saturday there. I had a day off on Sunday. Now we're kind of sharpening up all of the individual tumbles in preparation for the trials that are on this weekend for Saturday and Sunday. The fifth best pass is probably the full double front. It was the only tumble in this session I really struggled on today. Although we did get the stick nonetheless, it was a deep landing. For number four, probably the two and a half punch straight front. I always want to be sticking that because it's always in the latter half of the routine, so I should be doing that last half of the routine, always sticking each tumble. Number three is probably the triple twist dismount. It's always great to finish a floor routine with a stick and leave the judges speechless. Number two is probably the forward two and a half twist, although we didn't get the stick on it. It was much better than I have been doing it, so that's just clear progress on that tumble. And then the number one spot goes to the three and a half stoy. That tumble is so difficult to stick, but my stick rate is definitely improving on that, so I'm going into the competitions more and more confident that I could actually pull off a stick in a competition. Out of everything, I actually only give on the horse a rest for the last two weeks there. You know, whenever I have a rest like this on a certain apparatus, I always feel a bit sore coming back to it. So the wrists and shoulders and elbows and stuff need a little bit of time to readjust to palm the horse.
think I've got it. I've got it! What is it I have, you may ask? Well, a source of motivation. A reason to continue doing YouTube. When I was younger, I did not have much spare time. I went to school all day, then I went to gymnastics training for four hours every evening. The one relaxing part in a very chaotic day for me was sitting on the sofa, getting a cup of tea, and watching YouTube videos. Watching vlogs in particular. I loved all of the emotions it gave me. Relaxation, motivation, inspiration. And it all came from somebody I didn't know filming their daily life. For the past two months, I'd say, I didn't know which direction to take this YouTube channel. So I had to ask the tough question, why do I do YouTube? Personally, I love documenting my life. I travel the world, do my dream job, and I want to look back on these moments with a smile on my face. For you guys, I want to give you a relaxing, positive experience. A short video to take your mind off of any stresses or chaos in your life. It's also a form of media that I get to control. I do a lot of interviews for newspapers and TV, and I don't get a say on what the final product is for those pieces. For YouTube, this is all me. And for that reason, you're getting the most honest version of me in these videos. But sure, I'm glad we got to the bottom of this. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for the continued support. If you'd like to support the channel and get exclusive content, the link to the Patreon is in the description. I hope everyone has a great day. I'll catch you in the next video.